my name is Ruth Cameron and I'm currently doing a level 3 for school and today's talk I'm going to be doing fire safety and setting up. So as you can see I have the water ready for the fire and all my equipment for cooking here and then all my firewood here, the different levels this, the, from thin to really thick and I have my fire gloves to the ready. Um, I also have this to help me light it, to get it going. But I have a cabin, cabin stack wood style. So it's where you get the kindle and you stack it three, two, and then two. And then what I'll do is I will feed the wool in the middle spread it out nice and fluffed up put it in the middle have some sticking out ready to help it light so then I can feed it so I can feed it through I'm going to add more Kindle to the top because this is a temporary um, temporary fire pit. Everything you see goes back home, and there's no trace. If it was a permanent site, I would clear the grass out of the way, and I would make a soil bed on top just to be sure, and I would have it away from bushes and trees and away from stones that may cause fire and clip faces as well don't be doing it near there um, just somewhere flat and easy to take it away and clear it and put it back as the way it was if I need to get up quickly I just get up like this then I can step away from the fire so then I can do my bit safety away from the fire. Thanks for watching. Hello my name is Ruth Cameron and I'm currently doing a level 3 for school. As the last video said I have my fire bucket to the ready for when I light it. I also have my first aid to the ready for if I burn myself I have a burns kit to the red eye. Um, for before I light this fire, I have to be cautious in making sure that there's no wind. If there is any strong wind or rain, I would not light the fire, as it's not safe to to do, because the ashes could burn somewhere else. So I always have to be cautious about that area. In my fire pit, I have the kindle and cotton wool to help burn the wood. So I'm going to begin the fire. I have my fire gloves to the ready for when it gets hot and all the different levels of sticks, like I said before. So I'm using a flint to light my fire and it just goes like this, you know, the sparks when you go close. It lights like that. I'm going to stand close to the fire of the cotton buds and I'm just going to flick till it lights like so and that's it starting to light. It will burn through and it'll start cooking the wood. Once it gets hot I will feed the sticks again So as you can see it's slowly burning I will wait till it burns a bit more and I'll add more sticks to it and then I'll just keep feeding 
wee sticks like this, break them off and feed them, keep the fire going. Until it's nice and hot. Always let air add it to, to burn the wood. Sometimes I will use this to help it go because if the wood's wet or too wet, it'll not burn easily. So I'll help this burn a bit better. And then I can light it safely and get a good heat. So as you can see, it is starting to smoke, a lot of smoke. getting something now. I'm just going to keep feeding sticks as it burns. So I let that burn until it's a good flame and then I'll keep building and keep building my sticks. As you can see now the fire has built up really really well. I'm going to be using my gloves now that it's getting hotter to add the sticks in. Then I don't burn my hands. I'll just keep adding the fire, I'll keep adding the wood and I will also remind the children around the site not to go into the square, only the people who are looking after the fire and making sure the fire is safe or if I need a helper then they will come to my square and they will do the same positions that I am doing and they will wear a glove when putting the sticks into the fire. As you can see <clears throat> it's been well over 10 minutes cooking and the fire is going really 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 well. 